Welcome to part eight of the Introduction to Illustrator workshop. We are going to go over how to export out our different versions of our Lego man. So we've got all of our faces done. We've got a Lego guy here. Let's say we need to use him in a PowerPoint presentation or on a website or something. And we need these to come out of Illustrator because in those programs, you can't take an Illustrator file and insert them. So we need to put them in a more usable format. Okay, so let's say I take my first face and I pop it on here. Then what you're going to do is you're going to select this entire thing. You don't have to group it all, but you do need to select it all. So we've got all of this, not these faces, just the one we want on here. And we're going to go to File, Export Selection. So um, up under here, it shows a picture of him. I'm going to come underneath and call him Lego Smile because he's my smiley Lego. And then I can say, all right, we want this to be a PNG format, which is what I'm going to want. But... If I export it out at one times, that means that's one times the scale. So Illustrator will let you export out as big as you want and you won't lose any quality. But if you export it out at one times and then you go make it bigger elsewhere, it will lose quality. So you kind of have to decide here, do you want to scale this up? Um, it's up to you as to what you choose here. Or if you knew you wanted it to be a certain width or a height, you could set that right here too. Okay. I'm going to just say two times, so it'll be two times the size that it is. Now, it's going to add on some stuff to my name, and it's also going to put it in a file folder called two times when I export it. So just so you know, that's going to happen. All right, tell it where to put it. I'm going to put mine in my zero multimedia folder, um, but you would hit your browse button and tell it where it's going to go. You kind of have to plan all that ahead of time, okay? Because once you hit the export button, it's just going to save it there. Now I have mine set to open location after export, which is nice because then it pops up and you can make sure it's in the right place. All right, here we go. Export asset. It says it's been exported. And then here is my Lego man. So there he is. But the one that's exported is in a two times folder. So this is my Adobe Illustrator file. See, it says AI, but here is the folder it made for my export. All right, see, there he is, Lego Smile at two times, okay? I'm going to do this again. I'm going to click off, move this face, put this guy here, okay? Select it all, go to File, Export, Selection, and then now I need to choose the second guy. Ignore this because we don't need this one anymore. This one's clicked on. Um, we're going to come here, and I'm going to call it Lego Curly Guy, <laughs> <laughs> or whatever. Okay, make sure only this one is clicked on because we've messed with this one, right? Make sure this one is clicked on. I'm going to let it go to the two times one also, and I'm going to hit export asset. It's going to pop up. I'm going to go to my two times folder. All right, we got Lego smile and we have Lego curly guy. Okay, and then I'm going to repeat the process one last time and do my third one. Take this head off, put this one on. This is my rocker Lego. Select it all first, because it's got to be previewed right in the export selection. File, export selection. Here he is. Lego rocker. Okay. Two times is good. Same spot as the rest of them. Export asset. All right. Look in my two times folder. Mine are saving to a Google Drive, so they take just a little bit. They take a minute to um, actually show up, but they're in there. All right. And so now, if I wanted to insert this on a PowerPoint file or whatever, or Google Slide or whatever, you would go in and you would just insert your picture from your file folder, wherever that file folder happens to be. So mine's in my Google Drive, in my zero multimedia, and then in my two times folder. And then all three of them are in there. So I could choose my Lego curly guy and there he is. I've got him ready to go. Or I could go choose my other guy and he's there. Notice that because they are PNG files, they have transparent backgrounds, which is what you want. Uh, and then I've got them available to use wherever I want. And that's the gist of it. That's basically all you have to do to create um, a little people in Illustrator and to export them out to be used in other programs. And if I would have not made them two times size, they'd be half the size that they are here. So it's sometimes a good idea to go ahead and export them a little bit bigger than you might need. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this introduction um, series. Um, hopefully you have and you've learned a lot. If you want to join me, I have a bonus session coming up where we're going to talk about how we can take something that's already been drawn for us, color it up, and make our own clip art.